I've had so many requests for a curly boy tutorial and I found the perfect model. Look at these awesome curls. There are a few different steps that you do with curly hair and I'm going to show you those. You can do it a few different ways, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it straight and then I'm going to go back through and um, do some angle cutting with it. So we are going to start with the top, comb everything forward and create a guide. Now with curly hair, you really wanna make sure to comb all the hair that you're not cutting out of the way. Curly hair usually wants to bounce up, so you need to get it really wet so you can control the curl. This section, and you comb it straight up, and then make a cut. Now, like I said, there's more than one way to do this. I'm going to take it straight across, and then when we come back through, I'll take this section, and I will do little Vs like that to create texture and take the bulkiness away. Once the middle mohawk is cut, then you comb it to one side, and then I'm just going to take little parts and pull everything straight up. See how I'm combing this really nice and smooth? Putting my fingers in right underneath and matching to that middle mohawk section. Then you take another section. Now with curly hair, a lot of times it's going to curl over your finger. Let's see how that's just like curling over my finger. I wanna make sure to get my scissors right underneath and cut it right against my finger. The top is finished, now we're going to do the same thing in the back that we did in the top. We're going to create a little mohawk section in the back. Still comb all this hair that you're not cutting out of the way. This will just help in knowing exactly what hair needs to be cut. I really, really wish I could do a mullet on him, but mm -hmm. we got vetoed with the parents. So bring that out, straight out like that and I'm going to make a cut up. Then travel up and match what I have cut to what I haven't cut, and keep coming straight up the hair. So there is my middle mohawk guide in the back, and now I'm just going to match all the side and back hair to it. Keaton, should I give you a little bit of a mullet? Sure. Are your parents gonna be okay with it? Probably not. <laughs> Around this ear, I want, I'm going to put my fingers at an angle because I want it a little bit shorter up around the ear. When that hair curls around your finger, you just want to slide your scissors right underneath and lay them on that back finger right there to get all of that hair. Same thing over this ear, I'm going to angle it in a little bit so it's just shorter around the ear. And you can make this angle as sharp or as flat as you want depending on how much shorter you want it around the ear. Or you can go straight up depending on what look you want. Make sure you're grabbing those bangs with it so it all flows together and you don't have any ridges. Now, when we're doing the outline of the hair, once again, you can decide if you wanna keep it longer, if you wanna keep it shorter. We're going to take it just a little bit shorter. So, put 
push the head forward and comb it straight down, putting the fingers right behind the comb. So now that we've cut the length, see how um, kind of stringy the length is now, now that all the bulk is gone? About right there. So turn your scissors at an angle and take little V. So you're basically just cutting like a jagged straight line. Some of the hair that you have cut and some that you haven't and mat. the head any way you need to in order to have the best angle to cut. So now I'm going to do the sides and I'm just going to do a diagonal up over the ear. So that's what I have cut and I'm just going to connect the dots. Barely take any off those little stragglers. Pull everything straight forward. And then take little sections and pull them up to the unicorn angle. See that long hair right there? Just cut that off. This is going to layer the bangs. All the cutting is done. Now what we're going to go back through and do is just texture the curls. So I'm basically going to do the exact haircut again, but in quicker steps. So do this mohawk section. See how I cut it blunt? Now I'm just going to take and do lots of little Vs. If your little boy has straight hair, you usually do deeper Vs. This will add texture. What we're doing now is taking the bulk out of the ends. The haircut is finished, it's cut, it's textured. It looks so cute. We've kept some of the curl. I love putting product in curly haired boys hair just because it defines the curl. Such great hair. Look how awesome these curls look. They look so great with a little bit of product in so they're defined. I hope you guys try this on your little boy. Please let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching.